Greetings everyone. Uh, in this video, um, we'll be looking at uh, forming linear equations from uh, problems that are presented in context. So, um, what you need to look for in a word problem is uh, the keywords. What I've done is uh, I've got a, um, a list of keywords uh, that uh, um, you can use for your reference. The um, slope uh, intercept form of the linear function, which is y equals to mx plus c and it's color coded so that it's easy for you guys to follow so, so what i would suggest is uh, if you could pause the video and uh, take note of this slide because it's really important and uh, it's going to help you uh, in the actual assessment uh, to uh, decipher the information that's given uh, in context so um, we need two pieces of information uh, from the uh, word problem that will be presented to you so uh, what you need is uh, the gradient uh, value and the y intercept so uh, the gradient, uh, some of the keywords used, of course, you know, slope, uh, gradient is slope, uh, which is given by a rise over run. Uh, what it uh, determines is the um, uh, rate of change. And rate of change, uh, the keyword is per. So it could be, for example, kilometers per hour, dollars per hour, liters per hour, etc. And uh, y-intercept. Of course, the y-intercept values uh, will be mentioned, such as uh, initial value, starting point, minimum fee, one-time fee, registration fee, etc. Um, so these are some of the common uh, ones out there. And uh, what I would suggest is uh, if you could um, refer to this when you are answering questions that are presented in context. Now, then uh, the function also has uh, y and uh, it's in terms of y and x. So uh, x is the independent variable and uh, this is the input. All right, so if, and then uh, y is the uh, response variable, which is the dependent variable, and it depends on the um, x value of that particular function. So some things that go on the y-axis is total cost, total charges, etc. Now, uh, quickly uh, have a look at the um, applications of linear graphs. Uh, so gradient, of course, we know this uh, is rate of change, and uh, it is um, change in y over change in x, uh, as I've ex uh, explained this in the previous video. So uh, what you need to know is uh, how we can uh, describe the um, gradient in context. So let's look at the first graph here. Cost is in dollars and time in hours. So uh, we know the gradient is uh, change in y, which is the uh, cost and then uh, divided by the change in x, which is the uh, time axis here. So, and then uh, we put cost is measured in dollars. And uh, of course, the time worked is um, in hours. So we get the rate value, which is uh, pay rate. And it, in this case, it's charge per hour. Likewise, uh, second one here, uh, the cost uh, in dollars and weight in tons. And it's a linear positive uh, slope it has and uh, so gradient is cost divided by weight so change in y over change in x and then cost is in dollars and the weight is measured in tons so this becomes the unit part of the gradient so the rate and then it's charge per ton so moving on uh, water levels uh, measured in liters and then time in minutes uh, so gradient uh, like uh, uh, similar to what we did earlier uh, water level over time and then uh, water levels measured in liters, as you can see, and then time is in minutes. So the unit here is water lost per minute. Why it's lost? Because it's decreasing. If it was positive, then uh, it was like uh, uh, a tank is being filled. In this case, it's uh, lost per minute, and that's the flow rate. So I hope this makes sense. We'll try and use some of these uh, in um, answering uh, questions that follow. So what you will be looking uh, for in the word problem, if it's given in slope intercept form, that means uh, you will be provided with uh, these two pieces of information. One is the slope, which is the rate of change, and the other one is the y-intercept, the original or starting value. Um, so let's have a look at the uh, first example. It learns where it charges uh, $100 initial uh, consultation fee plus $30 per hour. So what you need to do is... Um, identify the slope and uh, the y-intercept value for uh, this uh, particular problem and then describe the meanings uh, in uh, this context. So we are basically looking for keywords like uh, dollars per hour and uh, here we put the value which is the initial charge. So initial charge as you can see here, initial value is the y-intercept 
So it says identify the slope and wind intercept. So I know hundred dollars is the y intercept and the other one is uh, the rate, which is dollars per hour, is the gradient value. So it's pretty easy to use this. Uh, so uh, we want to describe this. So it says the y intercept is hundred. This is the cost for zero hours. Uh, or the initial fee. So that's the initial fee of $100 as mentioned in this question. And the slope is 30. So this is the rate of change of the cost, which is $30 uh, per hour. Now, next part to this problem. Uh, so the next part is uh, writing an equation uh, that represents the uh, this particular cost as a function um, of the number of hours. Uh, so what we need is the um, equation. So we know that the uh, cost is um, $30 for each hour plus $100 the initial uh, consultation fee so cost uh, in uh, is uh, in dollars here is uh, equal to 30 times uh, the uh, x axis which will be time and then uh, plus $100 so we put those information together we get the uh, function which is uh, uh, 30t plus 100 pretty straightforward you just need to def uh, decode the information that's presented in context uh, and uh, uh, form the equation from there so this uh, here coefficient of t is the uh, rate which is the gradient part so $30 uh, per hour and the uh, y-intercept is the uh, initial cost pretty straightforward I guess here what we are looking for is uh, the graph of the function we will be using the uh, equation we formed earlier and that's from part B. And uh, what you need to do is uh, complete table of values and then plot these. And your final answer should be uh, uh, something like this. So it crosses at uh, uh, y intercept of 100, as mentioned in the question. Uh, next part it says find the cost if the severe takes 10 hours. So for if the severe works for 10 hours, what will be the cost? Remember this um, pattern continues. So we can extrapolate. Uh, so this is uh, ending at eight and then we can go two steps, but uh, unfortunately we can't read off from the grid. So what we will do is we'll just substitute the information given in the equation. So total cost is given by the equation we derived earlier. And then uh, what we do is we replace the time. In this case, it's 10 hours. So time 10 hours. So 30 times uh, 10, 300 plus another 100. And uh, we get the total cost of the severe is $400 in this context. So hopefully you guys uh, find this pretty um, uh, straightforward. But uh, do um, pause the video and uh, take notes as you go. So we'll have a look at another one here. So example two uh, says a catering business charges a uh, $200 booking fee plus uh, $18 per person served. Uh, so we still need uh, two pieces of information, uh, the slope and the uh, y-intercept. And we have to describe the meaning in context. So um, you would have guessed it, uh, the VL is uh, pretty obvious now. Once you've done a few questions, it's uh, pretty straightforward. Uh, so let's have a look at the um, description. So the y-intercept is uh, 200. Uh, this is the cost for zero people being served, but because that's the initial uh, fee uh, that uh, uh, they're charging uh, as a booking fee. The slope is 18. This is the rate of change of the cost, uh, which is uh, given as $18 per hour over here. Now, next part to this problem, um, it says write an equation that will uh, represent this uh, cost so uh, we know that cost is given by um, 18 dollars for each person so that's the charge plus 200 dollars booking fee so cost is equal to 18 times uh, the number of uh, guests or person that's being uh, served and uh, then uh, uh, the 200 dollars which is the booking fee so we put that as an equation uh, 18p plus 200 so using the uh, function, now we'll uh, plot the graph. Again, uh, you uh, got this uh, from uh, part B. And then uh, you complete table of values uh, pretty easy. You just need two uh, values actually. And then uh, you can just plot those and extend the line. Um, that's the number of people being served and uh, the cost for catering. Now it says find the cost of catering uh, an event for 200 guests. Now in this case, uh, we're given 200 uh, guests. Uh, remember the um, function will continue in uh, linear fashion like that. So uh, this is 15 guests. We have to go all the way up to 200. So uh, what we do is uh, we got the equation there. We replace uh, the um, 
a p value by the number of people that are there so 18 times 200 and then plus uh, 200 so substitute uh, p equals uh, 200 guests and then the total cost for the catering of this event uh, will be three thousand eight hundred dollars i'm just hoping uh, that uh, it's pretty straightforward and uh, it makes uh, sense we'll have a look at the uh, next uh, question so this is your turn now please pause the video and uh, try and work this one out and uh, then uh, match the answer later so um, Hopefully you guys have done the uh, answer by now. So it says that call um, a local uh, phone company charges its customers a monthly fee of nine dollars plus uh, forty four cents per minute for international calls. Identify the slope and y intercept and describe their meanings in context, uh, and then uh, give the equation and also find the uh, total monthly cost for two hundred minutes of international calls. So you've got uh, multiple. Uh, uh, things that you need to uh, do for this one so let's uh, put things together the y-intercept is 9 why because that's the uh, uh, monthly fee of $9 as mentioned in the question the slope value is 0 0.44 now some of you may have written 44 but it says 44 cents per minute and we are looking at the unit which is in dollars so you must change and uh, keep the uh, units same so it's easier for uh, us to um, work in dollars so 44 cents is 0 0.44 so this is the rate of change which is uh, 0 0.44 or 44 cents per minute now putting this information together so total cost is 0 0.44 dollars for each minute plus nine dollars as the monthly fee so the final uh, equation is uh, 0 0.44 t plus 9. Now what we will need to do is uh, find the total uh, um, cost uh, for 200 minutes of international call. So what we need to do next is just substitute the uh, um, number of minutes uh, per month. So this one was 200, so 0 0.44 times 200 plus uh, 9. So that gives a total cost of $97 for this particular month so uh, understanding the keywords and uh, applying that in uh, context is uh, really important so i'm just hoping that um, this is um, uh, much easier for you guys uh, now so please do pause the video and uh, try and uh, relook at this uh, again thanks for watching i'll see you guys in the next video